it's cold it's snowed under the temperature is hovering between minus 15 and minus 20 degrees centigrade i am in the scenic valley of lahol and spiti i wouldn't have been standing here had it not been for the atal tunnel which you see in the background the green structure which opens into the lahol valley 3000 meter ki unchai par bani aur 9 kilometer se bhi adhik lambi hai tunnel na keval sabse lambi balki ek behad complex construction hai iske nirman ki raah koi aasan nahi thi par in sabhi mushkilon ko paar karte hue अटल टनल को पूरा कर हमारे बॉर्डर रोड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के जवानों ने अपनी दृढ़ता और संकल्प को दर्शाया है ऑन दिस एपिसोड ऑफ लाइफ इन साइंस विथ पलव बागला अ इनसाइड लुक एट द मेकिंग ऑफ द अटल टनल अ लुक एट सिविल इंजीनियरिंग एस्पेक्ट अ लुक एट इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड हाउ engineers from the border roads organization braved the cold conditions and finally connected with an all weather road between lahol and spiti and the kullu valley for your information the second tunnel in the world about 10000 feet is only 2.72 kilometers in USA Eisenhower tunnel you can understand the uh, jump what india has taken over the technology over uh, 10000 feet in tunnels the tunnel also sends a message to india's adversaries india knows how to protect its border Taming tough terrains is at the heart of one organization. From the highest airfield in Ladakh to the lowest point in Great Nicobar, the Border Roads Organization excels in connecting India. I am standing at one of India's 21st century engineering marvels. Behind me is the Atal Tunnel at Rohtang, the longest tunnel. about 10000 feet in the himalayas main manta hu ki atal tunnel rohtang deshwasiyon aur khas taur par himachal wasiyon ke prati purva pradhan mantri swargiya shri atal bihari vajpayee ji ke sneh sahyog prem aur unke concern ko darshata hai lagbhag 20 varsh pehle उन्होंने स्थानीय जनता की जरूरत को समझा और इस टनल का सपना देखा अब प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी ने अटल टनल का उद्घाटन करके हिमाचल प्रदेश की जनता के सपनों और उनकी आशाओं आकांक्षाओं को पूरा किया है तीन हजार मीटर की ऊंचाई पर बनी और नौ किलोमीटर से भी अधिक लंबी यह टनल न केवल सबसे लंबी बल्कि एक बेहद कॉम्प्लेक्स कंस्ट्रक्शन है टफेस्ट जियोलॉजी और बीच में पड़ रहे लार्जेस्ट शेयर जोन के कारण इसके निर्माण की राह कोई आसान नहीं थी पर इन सभी मुश्किलों को पार करते हुए अटल टनल को पूरा कर हमारे बॉर्डर रोड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के जवानों ने अपनी दृढ़ता और संकल्प को दर्शाया है कठो चट्टानों के दो किलोमीटर नीचे इस टनल का होना स्वयं हमारे देश के टेक्निकल कॉम्पिटेंस का एक प्रमाण है इस प्रोजेक्ट के अधिकांश कार्य हमारे अपने इंजीनियर्स द्वारा पूरे किए गए हैं इसलिए अटल टनल रोहतांग का निर्माण आत्मनिर्भर भारत के हमारे एस्पिरेशंस और हमारे इंजीनियर्स को नई स्किल्स से लैस करने का एक बहुत बड़ा उदाहरण है और मैं यह मानता हूं कि यह अटल टनल रोहतांग का हमारे देश के लिए एक स्ट्रैटेजिक इंपॉर्टेंस भी है हाल ही में बॉर्डर रोड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ने सिक्किम में थेंग टनल का निर्माण किया है चार धाम एक्सिस पर उत्तराखंड में 
चंबा टनल पूरी हो चुकी है अरुणाचल प्रदेश में सेला और नेचपुर टनल का निर्माण कार्य भी तेजी से चल रहा है बॉर्डर रोड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द्वारा इन सुरंगों का निर्माण हमारे देश की इन हाउस कैपेसिटी को भी दर्शाता है अपनी इन क्षमताओं के चलते अब हम देश के बाहर भी टनल कंस्ट्रक्शंस का जिम्मा लेने के लिए पूरी तरह से तैयार हैं इस प्रकार यह मेक इन इंडिया के साथ साथ मेक फॉर वर्ल्ड की भी हमारी आकांक्षा को पूरा करने की दिशा में एक बहुत बड़ा कदम है अटल टनल इज अ गोल्ड स्टैंडर्ड बेंचमार्क वर्ल्ड ओवर इट्स अ वर्ल्ड क्लास वर्क विच विल शो केस इंडियाज इंजीनियरिंग एबिलिटी टू वर्क इन एक्सट्रीमली डिफिकल्ट टेरेन बोथ नॉट ओनली इन टर्म्स ऑफ हाइट्स द काइंड ऑफ रॉक स्ट्रेटा एंड द वेरिएशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ द फ्रेजाइल वर्क एंड वाई एम टेरेन इन विच दे हैव टू वर्क आई थिंक बी आर ओ कैन ट्रूली बी प्राउड ऑफ इट्स वर्क वेन इट वेन वी लुक एट अटल टनल एंड इन फैक्ट आई वुड से द नेशन इज प्राउड ऑफ द वर्क विच बी आर ओ हैज डन आई वुड इवन से दैट नेशन इज इंडेटेड टू बी आर ओ एंड इट्स एम्प्लॉयज फॉर द वर्क इट हैज डन बी आर ओ एम्प्लॉयज सेक्रीफाइस अ लॉट वेन दे वर्क दे वर्क इन डिफिकल्ट कंडीशंस डेंजरस कंडीशंस एंड doing such difficult work in these conditions is really something which creates a model for all of us in terms of their dedication their commitment to the cause of nation's development and of course to provide strategic infrastructure for our nation's security and to explain to us the complexities of the making of this tunnel we have with us Lieutenant General Rajiv Chaudhary is a civil engineer and incidentally both General Chaudhary and I share an alumnus the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore thanks a lot for joining us general i salute you also Welcome. for being here at this height of 10062 feet and you have made it i am quite uh, uh, impressed with that thanks a lot general why should india be proud of what we see behind us the atal tunnel firstly this is the longest tunnel what uh, has been constructed in the world by any engineers this is 9000 meters uh, long tunnel about 10000 feet and for your information the second tunnel in the world about 10000 feet is only 2.72 kilometers in USA Eisenhower tunnel you can understand the uh, jump what india has taken over the technology over uh, 10000 feet in tunnels so it's a major breakthrough and this tunnel is not connecting the places as it will be connecting lahul spiti people it is also connecting the people of lahul spiti which were cut off for approximately 6 months from the mainland so we are connecting the culture we are connecting people we are connecting uh, places so you are joining hearts yes so uh, and this tunnel has got a uh, lot of strategic value and lot of socio economic importance the border roads organization works in some of the other more difficult conditions tell me from from the deserts to the sea where all and how difficult the conditions are border roads as the name suggests it works on the borders so we work in the thar desert borders the temperature goes up to plus 50 degree centigrade and we work in areas like this and more higher areas you know have got temperatures of approximately minus 50 degree centigrade minus 50 at dras kargil it goes that is a second coldest place in the world so you can understand the differential of temperatures of operation is approximately 100 degree centigrade and the same people sometimes they go to thar desert sometime they go to dras and not only this our expense uh, spreads from dsdbo to indra point which is which is the highest air field we highest, have highest highest air field in ladakh absolutely and goes down below to indra point which is the lowest point of our indian 
subcontinent which is the southern most point on great nicobar absolutely and also from thar desert in the west to arunachal pradesh which is the eastern most part of the country so we are spread across the country we are joining uh, people and places as i told you earlier and we are joining cultures how do you lead such a diverse pool of people i know that is a very difficult question i don't lead i just facilitate people oh lovely i don't lead i i don't do anything it is just uh, i do little things to increase and infuse that motivation we, we see a lot of concrete here what are these concrete this is basically here? to stabilize the hillside which is very fragile okay if you see the fall it is nearly 90 degree okay and these mountains under the pressure of the snow and on its own pressure they sometimes start crumbling and come down on the road in form of debris so which blocks the traffic so we do short treating and this is called bolting and uh, those pipes you see yeah they are called weep holes okay <laughs> okay so that mountain when it weeps in the sense when the water gets seeped into the mountain side it has to be given uh, outlet right. so there are the weep holes and their bolts and the short treating basically to stabilize the mountain side lovely let's let's take a look at some of the other work At the Atal Tunnel, General Rajiv Chaudhary gave us a broad overview. Now let's meet some of the key people who made the tunnel possible. We have with us Chief Engineer K P Purushottaman. He hails from Kerala, but works at over 3,000 meters and made this tunnel. So Purushottam, how easy or difficult, and what are the peculiarities of this tunnel? Yeah. uh this is one of the most difficult uh, tunnel i would like to say in the world and uh, this is having the record of the longest highway tunnel above 10000 feet uh, altitude this tunnel is having all the modern facilities which a uh, uh, highway tunnel is required to have so we have got uh, the certain features i would like to say length of the tunnel is 9 kilometers and uh, the levels on both sides north portal and south portal is 3060 meter and 3071 meter respe respectively and by constructing this tunnel we are saving a length of 46 kilometer distance of the road let's also take talk to brigadier bagi brigadier bagi there are challenges on the south portal there are challenges on the north portal what was the big challenge on the north portal the biggest challenge on the north portal was connecting the tunnels north portal to the main axis that is the manali a axis so for which we had to construct 100 meter bridge which was a biggest challenge in the time bound manner approach and the the 100 meter bridge which was to be made in the least time frame that was almost 3 to 4 months uh, i think that was the biggest feat achieved uh, by the project deepak and the task force of uh, 38 task force India is blessed to have officers like you, Colonel Uma Shankar. The tunnel is one bit, but reaching the tunnel and going out of the tunnel, what was your key role? See, our role was to provide connectivity to both ends of the tunnel, especially at the north portal. North portal, there was no connectivity. Earlier, it was connected through a Bailey bridge, which was uh, for class 40 uh, capacity. So we had to enhance the capacity to class 70. so our main role was to provide that class 70 connectivity to tunnel and to connect that tunnel to the national highway so what the, does class 70 mean that is 70 ton load it can take on meaning it should be able, the bridge should be able to, to carry take tanks a 70 ton and, and that is yeah, large is, for yeah tanks. roughly yes so you are providing strategic connectivity strategic connectivity to the tunnel to the main uh, national highway 3 that is manali le highway that was our main role wonderful thanks a lot and god bless you sir now let's go inside the atal tunnel itself the 21st century engineering marvel we will rendezvous again with general rajiv and take it forward India Science Channel was launched in the year 2019 by the Department of Science and Technology Government of India 
The internet-based dedicated science web channel is being implemented and managed by Vigyan Prasar, committed towards science communication. The channel features science documentaries, discussions on current topics, interviews and different programs covering the entire landscape of science and technology to make science popular among the masses. India Science is a flagship project of Vigyan Prasar and over an year and a half we have produced more than 1200 videos of different sizes, lengths and are from different genre and for different domains for the people of the country. We've, uh, we've taken, we've spoken, we've gotten, uh, we've dived deep into the reams of uh, different domains of science and technology. And we have uh, gotten news, stories, films, videos in almost every format that you can think of. OTT for that matter is a great platform that helps uh, anybody to look for any news, any item, any uh, video, any documentary at any point in time. All you need to do is to subscribe a channel for it. One can also download India Science mobile app from Google Play Store or Apple Store to view this channel. Now we are inside the Rotang Tunnel as it was called. Subsequently, it was named after visionary Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee who used to love Kundu Manali as the Atal Tunnel. General Chaudhary, what is the larger vision of the Border Road Organization and of the nation for connecting India? Uh, if you see, last 60 years, we have been working in 12 states and now, of course, four more UTs. Union territories. Union territories. Where we have been connecting the most difficult places in rough weather conditions and bringing people together. Our vision is there to make it faster. There are a number of more such projects which are being integrated by the government. Seeing our expertise on the border areas, difficult terrain, inhospitable weather conditions. So there are projects like Bharat Mala project, SARDP project. That what is, is SARDP, sir? That is Spatial Accelerated Road Development Projects. Late Prime Minister Atul Bihari Vajpayee gave the concept of the golden quadrilateral. Absolutely. Now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, in his own way, how is he helping connect India? Now, if you see the vision of late Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee, it was golden quadrilateral, which accelerated the growth of the country, increasing the trade, a lot of freight moves on those roads today. And also the connectivity from the east to west corridor, north to south corridor. Now, present Prime Minister, Honorable Narendra Modi, is connecting the borders through the Bharat Mala project. All starting from Gujarat, Rajasthan, Punjab, these three duties which, which have been yeah. created, Jammu, Valley and uh, Ladakh, then Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, and spread all along to the eastern states. So it's a huge project where number of roads have been given to border roads because other agencies have not got that kind of expertise to reach those areas which are far-flung areas. Let's now, from having looked at your vision, let's take a look at one of the most challenging parts of making of the Atal Tunnel, which is the Seri Nala Challenge. Let's go, sir. We are inside the Atal Tunnel and above me is the notorious Seri Nala. General Chaudhary, how did you and your team tame this Seri Nala? It looks so tame just now. You see, when the uh, tunnel was being made, it was known that there is a Seri Nala, but the quantum of water it was carrying along with it 
and the muck hitting the tunnel alignment was not really known because it was below the surface and geostata is very complex down below the ground so thereafter we exposed the seri nala and did lot of uh, technical analysis and we came to know approximately 8400 liters per minute water was hitting the tunnel alignment 8400 liters yeah on an average we consume between 3 and 7 liters of water so, so that's can, the number and you cannot understate the power of water it is so strong it can take away anything along with it so immediately we had to find the technical solution to that force of water which was coming and hitting the tunnel alignment so what we did we did lot of channelizing of that water along the tunnel for that there was a proper drain you can see this drain which is the approximately now this water has been channelized and uh, 6000 liters per minute is coming through this drain and other water has been stopped using the short pleating of the sides of the tunnels where it was seeping and leaking through the sides also so it was making gradually the sides weaker so that has been stopped by lot of waterproofing treatments lot of waterproofing layers have been put there have been pipes laid all along the tunnel in this section which will take this water and drain that water into the proper pipes which have been laid there so so if i can summarize essentially you put a river under the tunnel also absolutely so we have given that way proper way to the water which was hitting the tunnel in a different different sections so all that water now is passing through this drain so in so many tunnels i have visited there is always water seeping from somewhere or the other this is a very dry tunnel is it because is it new and how long will this tunnel last now that is a very uh, important question and that is also very technical question world over wherever we make tunnels in the mountains because mountains have got their capillaries wherever the water will flow it will flow through the mountains sub surface and on the surface okay so it is bound to hit the tunnels whenever we dig the tunnels in the mountains however today we are in 21st century where we have got a lot of effective solutions to this draining of this water in a proper channel and what you asked me how long this tunnel will last i would say on paper 100 years that is the nominal life nominal life but it will go for 200 years and beyond so Which your generations maybe 5 6 generations will see uh, so it depends on these officers how well they maintain yeah, yeah. now so let's go and see to stay now let's go and see you have a very special part of the tunnel which is an escape tunnel which is right below the tunnel correct yeah let's go and see that sir general choudhury where are we this seems like a smaller tunnel yeah we are in the escape tunnel in case of any eventuality accident in the main tunnel and people have to be evacuated because of some fire reasons or accident so they, there is a tunnel bil, be, below the tunnel and this is 3.6 meter wide and 2.25 meters high and this is all along the tunnel and there are 18 entry points in the tunnel where you can escape and be safe when 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 does one use it when does one use it in that uh, eventuality will not come but we also plan for all the options you see in case of fire or in case of some kind of accident within the tunnel and people have to be taken to safe place so this is the passage which will be used to take them out of the tunnel normally it is on the side of the tunnel why yeah. is it below the tunnel so that is, is it safe that is yes that is very safe that is the unique feature structural feature of this tunnel that there are four levels of this tunnel now we are standing at the second level what you see here this is the lowest level this is the drain what i explained you there where all the water which is you know coming from the sides is being channelized half of this water goes on the north side and half of the water goes on the south side this is second level we are standing escape tunnel on top is the tunnel and above the tunnel is also the ventilation shaft where all the gases or polluted air which is 
created due to the passage of the vehicles that is collected and thrown out of the tunnel. And you also have ducts where you carry some cables? Yeah, there are the ducts on the sides of the tunnel. All your communication cables, your electric cables, any other cables which are related to the services within the tunnel, they are taken, they are integrated, they are taken out of the tunnel. And there are also electric cables which are going to the Lahul Spiti area for their electricity requirements. So there are a huge number of services which had to be planned and integrated within the tunnel. Let's take a little look at the escape tunnel a little more. Yes. India Science Channel was launched in the year 2019 by the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. The internet-based dedicated science web channel is being implemented and managed by Vigyan Prasar, committed towards science communication. The channel features science documentaries, discussions on current topics, interviews and different programs covering the entire landscape of science and technology to make science popular among the masses. India Science is a flagship project of Vigyan Prasar. And over an year and a half, we have produced more than 1,200 videos of different sizes, lengths, and are from different genres and for different domains for the people of the country. We've, uh, we've taken, we've spoken, we've gotten, uh, we've dived deep into the reams of uh, different domains of science and technology. And we have uh, gotten news, stories, films, videos, in almost every format that you can think of. OTT, for that matter, is a great platform that helps uh, anybody to look for any news, any item, any uh, video, any documentary at any point in time. All you need to do is to subscribe a channel for it. One can also download India Science mobile app from Google Play Store or Apple Store to view this channel. We have now come into the scenic Lahol Spiti Valley. Four decades ago, when I crossed the Rohtang Tunnel, it would have been impossible to stand here in December. The temperature right now is minus 15 degrees centigrade Absolutely. general. Absolutely. Absolutely. Both of us are braving the yeah. cold. Yeah. Every one of us. Every one of us. So, we are here in the North Portal. What happens in winter when there was no tunnel at this point? Uh, when there was no tunnel, at this place where we are standing, during the winters, there was approximately 30 to 40 feet of snow accumulated. So you can well imagine what is the uh, you know importance so of this. So high. So high. And south uh, portal, the accumulation of snow was approximately 6 to 10 feet. Wow. So this place is really chilling. Let's now meet some of the people who were involved in the making of the tunnel and some of the locals who have benefited from the tunnel. What is your name? Ruldaram Ji. Ruldaram Ji. Ruldaram. Do you have to make the time in the construction of this road? Yes, I have to make the time in the road. I have to make the time in the road. I have to make the time in the road. Yes, sir. So, we have a lot of सुरेंद्र आप ये बताए की इस टनल के बनने से आपको क्या लगता है कि आपको क्या फायदा हुआ है आपके रिलेटिव्स को बच्चों को कैसे आपको फायदा हुआ फायदा तो बहुत हो जाए हमारे सबसे पहली बात तो हमारे को फसल जो हम मंडी तक पहुंचाते हैं उसके कैरिज कम हो गए हैं बच्चे आते जाते रहते हैं अब उनके हाँ जी उनके पढ़ाई लिखाई में हाँ जी एक लड़का कोई फायदा है मैं एक कुल्लू में पढ़ता है अच्छा अच्छा जो हमारे प्रधानमंत्री जी हैं श्री नरेंद्र मोदी उन्होंने जो ये अपनी विकास की जो सोच है उनकी उसमें कई सारी टनल्स बनेंगी देश में तो उसके बनने से आपको लगता है कि सारा जो यहाँ का एरिया है जो नेगलेक्टेड था वो सब इकट्ठा होगा और देश के साथ में जो मेनलैंड है हमारा उससे जुड़ेगा 
ियसली the progress of work is going to accelerate the momentum what we have achieved in last few years it is going to double every year or at least if not double every year every two years because the kind of uh, planning which has been done by our honorable prime minister to connect all the places on the borders through various schemes that is going to keep us busy and the number of tunnels what we are going to make to connect remote places like we are also planning shinkunla here to connect another road to le then we are also planning jozila so there are number of tunnels going to come and uh, i don't think so there is going to be any end to this both of us have red noses now because <laughs> of the cold delight speaking to you india is very proud of you and of your men keep working hard and i am sure the country will see many more roads being connected and many more hearts being connected main yahi kehna chahunga ki border road organization hamari armed forces ke liye simai ilakon mein roads aur other infrastructures ka nirman aur unka rakh rakhav karke desh ki suraksha aur akhandata mein ek mahatvapurna bhumika nibhata hai jin ilakon mein border road organization kaam karta hai उनमें से अनेक इलाके तो क्लाइमेट और टोपोग्राफी की दृष्टि से दुनिया के सर्वाधिक कठिन इलाके हैं हाल के दिनों में बॉर्डर रोड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टाइम और स्पेस दोनों तरह की चुनौतियों का सामना करने के लिए आगे आया था अब बॉर्डर रोड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन से देश की उम्मीदें कई गुना बढ़ गई हैं अटल टनल रोहतांग के उद्घाटन के बाद देश अधिकांश इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रॉब्लम्स के लिए लेटेस्ट कटिंग एज एनवायरमेंट फ्रेंडली सोल्यूशन के लिए बॉर्डर रोड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की ओर देख रहा है मैं बॉर्डर रोड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के सभी कर्मियों को तहे दिल बधाई देता हूं और हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं भी देता हूं जिनकी निरंतर समर्पण और बलिदान के कारण बॉर्डर रोड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आज इस ऊंचाई पर है आप सबको बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद we have done several uh, reforms in the functioning of bro which has enabled it to grow fast today bro is using the latest technologies and one of the latest construction equipment required for building in difficult terrain areas we have strengthened the capabilities of our employees who are working in high altitude areas by providing them special winter clothing that has elongated the period in which bro can function today bro is extensively using digital technologies which has enabled better project management and improved monitoring bro has also shown tremendous amount of resilience to do work recently for example the jozila tunnel which connects to leh from shrinagar was kept open up to december 31st which is a record in itself typically otherwise this road used to be previously closed late in october or early november at best these capabilities has enabled bro to stretch the period in which in difficult terrain difficult lot of snow 20 30 feet of snow bro is able to work one more important step that has been taken has been with respect to increased budgetary allocation government has been supporting bro with increased budgetary allocation and to further leverage that we have given enhanced delegation of financial powers to dg bro and other officers of bro so all these steps put together has enabled you know much greater uh, leverage and much greater efficiency in the functioning of bro from this scenic lahol and spiti valley with the north portal of the atal tunnel trust me 
in december in deep winter it would have been impossible to come here only the atal tunnel has made it possible keep watching india science